Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is Straw Harvest released. So, rather than doing a live stream, I've decided to just record an episode. But what we're going to do is we're going to harvest this field. This is our barley field. Uh, the corn field is also ready, but we're going to do this one first so that we can try out the pelletizer bale machine type thing. So we're going to do this immediately and it's not going to take too long I hope. Just double check we've got straw what we should do. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there's a couple of machines in the pack. The one that I'm going to be using today is going to be the uh, I think it's called a pelletizer. It's basically like a baler, but it creates pellets as you go, rather than creating bales. There are obviously balers in the pack as well, and you can feed straw or hay bales directly into the pelletizing machine type whatever. I'm going to check the name in a minute. Um, you can feed bales directly into it using an attachment that goes onto the side. But I'm just going to use the machine directly. I think that's going to be quicker. And hopefully, we're going to make a good amount of money from selling the pellets because it's quite expensive to lease the machine. Sixteen and a half thousand pound euros, even. So yeah, we need to we need to make some money from that if possible. You'll also notice the bank balance is lower. That's because I had to buy a corn header so that we can harvest our corn. And I didn't lease it because we're going to need to do corn to keep our animals going. Speaking of which, I will show you them in a minute. They're getting on pretty well so far. We've already had some pigs reproducing. Um, and of course every time they reproduce they need more food. but their reproduction cycle time also decreases a bit. This field is not yielding as well as I hoped, but that's because it needed lining and it needed ploughing, and I didn't do either of those things. <coughs> but hopefully there's still enough straw in here for us to really demonstrate things. It looks like we're okay at the moment. It's a good enough amount of straw. And we can always feed some of the hay into the machine if we wanted. Just to try and get it some extra pellets. Oh, there's 50%. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting day. I've been looking forward to the Straw Harvest DLC for ages. Or I think it's called an add-on. It's not called DLC. Straw Harvest add-on. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this. Unfortunately, most of the equipment is too expensive. So the the pallet, pellet hall, or the crane hall, they're all really expensive, and I don't really want to extend the loan any further. So that's why we're just going to be using the one piece of machinery. sort of save a bit of money really. I know lots of people have been streaming the uh, add-on today, uh, which is part of the reason why I didn't want to stream it to be honest. Um, I can get this video created and uploaded in the same day I think, so there's not really a need to be doing a live stream. Especially as it's already pretty saturated, and people want to play it rather than watch other people using it. But when it's a paid DLC, it's different because not everyone has it. But when it's a free one, well, everyone gets it, so everybody wants to have a go with it. Interestingly, I've seen one bug, which is that if you introduce it to seasons when you have 
already cut your grass and left it to turn to hay, when you load the game up for the first time with uh, the straw harvest included, your hay will have all turned to snow. So that's something to be wary of. Uh, luckily I wasn't really thinking of adding it to the other series, because the other series is at the moment just about damage control to be honest, after we lost all of our crops. I'm just trying to recover as much as possible, so that we can keep going through winter as well. Luckily the cows are about to give birth. And uh, that brings us on to the next topic, which is, I would like to get some cows on here. But, of course, money is a bit of an issue. We made quite a lot from the potatoes and silage. But, um, not enough that I can go and buy the cow farm and all the cows that go with it. The vent is already ready. I think this trailer needs a repair. Although I don't really know what happens to trailers when they need repairing. Combine harvester, I know what happens. The tractors get slower. The tools get slower, but I'm not sure, quite sure about tippers. get this unloaded. Um, we're going to need this trailer so I'll have to go and empty it. But let's have a look at the pigs. As you can see, horses are doing pretty well. I am using horse helper so it's costing me 1200 a day to look after them. But their value increases by more than that so that's pretty good. Um, as for pigs, we started with 12 I think. We're now up to 17. It was 13 and a half hours per pig, it's now 10. And you can see they're doing all right. They need cleaning, they need straw, which is really what this barley was going to be for, the barley straw. They also need some more food. Potato, sugar beet, not worried about that. Canola, they'll have that next episode. Wheat and barley today. Corn, maybe today, but probably not. So, we're going to move this guy out of the way. Yeah. And then I'm going to get the rest of this finished off camera because I want to have enough time to do the um, straw harvest. So, I'll see you in a couple of minutes when this is done. Okay, so I'm just getting the last of the barley. We didn't get that much from the field, but there should be enough to feed the pigs for a while, I hope. Especially with the corn that I'm going to get as well from the other field, we should be okay. Um, so, first thing, I need to go and deliver this straight away to the pigs. Here we are then. So, we need to empty this and feed the pigs, obviously. I think they also need, yep, they need their feeding trough tidied and they might need some water as well. We'll have to have a quick look and see. Right, how much are they going to take? We've got 13,000 litres here. Oh wow, they've taken everything. But they're almost full up. Okay, well that's good. Let's just go and get this guy moved out of the way. Now, we'll give the animals a quick clean. I have to try not to fly with this guy. Like that. That's 
fault. Okay. It's just a, a little bit difficult to control, especially today for some reason. There we go. So that is the pigs clean. Final thing, let's get over here and give them some more water. Okay, they didn't need much. Right, cleanliness is apparently only 48. Mm, I think it might just need to update itself because they're definitely clean. But that's wheat and barley done for a while, water done for a while. Okay, so now let's get over to the shop and pick up the pelletizer. Right, here we are down at the shop then. So, we're going to have a quick look. We'll try and do this as quickly as possible because there is quite a lot to see. So, if we go into MISC, first thing you've got pallet sell point. Now, we're going to need one of these because we're going to actually need to sell our pallets. Logic says it should be somewhere near the front gate so that people could actually, you know, buy the pellets from us. However, do we have room next to one of our gates is the question. I guess, I guess, if it was just by here, that wouldn't be too bad. Or alternatively, where I just had the tractor parked, Yeah, just by here might be alright. Uh, what is it? Control E. Control, is that the one? Left Control and Q. Left Control and E. Okay, I'm not sure about it being concrete. I think we'll just quickly change that. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, right, now that we've finished messing around there, next thing to show you. So if I go into the sheds, we have here the three sheds. The pallet hall, the pallet hall with a crane, and the pallet hall with a palletizer. Can't really afford any of these, so we're not going to be getting any of them. But the other thing to look at is in here. So. We've got these. These are the different bale grabs that you can use. Then we've got this. This will make different bale sizes, which is quite nice. Um, all of these need to be refilled with different things. So this one needs netting. This one also needs netting. This is a straw baler. This one has two options, bale shoot or bale collect. Now, if you haven't already seen the bale collect, is this. It folds out and it will move your bales so that you end up with three bales in one place and then you can just drop those off the back in a nice pile and that pile can be picked up directly by one of these which picks up three bales or one of these which picks up five. And the final piece then is this, the Primus 5000. So this needs hail straw, uh, water, and I think that's molasses, I think is the right name. So you can either use this in the field, directly, or you can attach this bale shredder. Now, we're going to do this um, in the field directly. So what we need to do is, we're going to go with automatic because I don't want to buy a load of molasses and things like that and then not need them. Plus, as we're leasing, it's only an extra 510 for the leasing. So we will, we will lease that. Okay. So there it is. Let's go get hooked up. We can have a better look at it.
one thing I didn't check actually. What's the horsepower requirement? 350. Our guy's on 210. I think he's going to struggle. So maybe we need to. We'll, we'll try it, but we might have to lease a tractor as well. But, so that's it. It looks very cool. Very, very cool. Let's get back over to the farm and we can try it out. Okay, so just driving down here was a little bit tricky. So I am a little bit worried about how this is going to work. But we will see. We seem to have enough power to pull it. And there we go, so that straw pellets being created. I have no idea what the price of straw pellets are. We'll take a quick check in a minute. But yeah, this seems to be working pretty well. Considering we're 140 horsepower under, we're still pulling it at 10 kilometers an hour, which isn't bad at all. And it's filling up pretty well. Which leads me to think that maybe straw pellets aren't worth that much. We'll check in a minute though. Of course I need to make sure that uh, we pick up everything because this guy is costing us 16,000 to lease. So we really do have to make the money back. I don't think that's going to be a big problem. Right, can we see any straw pellets? Let's just have a quick look. Oh yeah, we can. So we can see them in there. It's a bit of an odd graphic how it's filling up like that. I wonder if that's a bug. Yeah, I think it is still missing big chunks, even though we're spot in line, dead in line even. It still seems to be missing quite big chunks of uh, straw. I'll have to go back over those after. Like I said, I'm not losing anything here. I want every single bit of straw off this field. How does it handle a big lump like this? Let's see. They seem to do okay. Right. Price of pellets. Let's see. I could go to the right tab. Uh, so that's hay, that's straw. 2641. Oh, wow. And climbing. Um, that's quite crazy. So these are worth an absolute fortune, which is good to know. Maybe um, pellets will become our new industry. Because yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of money, and they are worth more, I believe, if you bag them up. Not sure though. Okay, so i just used it for a minute, just without uh, recording, and I, I don't know if it's because of the tractor, because of course I am running this on a tractor that is a uh, far too low horsepower requirement, so it could quite conceivably be that, and that's the reason why we're missing big chunks of straw. Um, I think... We'll get this full once, and we'll sell them, and then I'll lease a tractor, something with a much bigger horsepower, and we'll see how it goes then. See if it's any better, or if it's still not picking everything up. We're not, we're not that far away now. 
think once we finish this, we'll go and tip it into the trailer. Uh, the reason being, I actually would really like to get a screenshot of it unloading into the trailer. That's uh, my plan for this episode in terms of screenshot. Is, uh, yeah. See, it's just going over the top of it without doing anything. Okay, let's turn it off, lift the pickup up, and um, I will just go and grab the trailer, and then we can get this unloaded. Okay, so let's get this unloaded, and then I can, of course, take my screenshot, which is what I would like to do. Just uh, get a better position. A bit of a strange graphic as it comes off as well, actually. But anyway, that's enough screenshots. We'll finish this. There we go. Yep, so we'll just go and empty that trailer. Hopefully, I can sell it directly at that sell point. That would be really nice. If not, oh, we've got problems. So let's see. I'm really hoping I can back it up to it. Oh, in fact, where's the pallet cell point? Okay. So, yeah, we should be able to, I think. But, I don't know, do you get less if they're loose? Can you just not sell them if they're loose? Oh, it says it accepts them. Ten thousand. That's uh, pretty good going. Right. So I'm going to put this guy just oh by here, and I'm going to lease the tractor quickly. And we're going to continue with this on a bigger tractor. As you can see, I did get a bigger tractor. I got a tractor that I haven't used in, uh, since I got the DLC, to be honest. Um, it's a class. It has not been in this series or one of my other series. So it's nice to finally have it in here. It's the 940, so it's got a really, really, oh sorry, the 950. It's got a really good amount of horsepower. 410 I believe um, however it's still the Primus still missing bits so I think it's more to do with the machine than the horsepower but I think if we were in the position where we could actually afford to buy the machine, because it's 320,000, we could use it as a standalone. 
So we could make straw bales and then we could put them you know, we could put them in through the side and maybe that would be okay then. That's a possible solution. But yeah, it's 320,000 to actually buy this machine. That's why I'm leasing it for 16 and a half thousand instead. But uh, yeah, we may make that amount of money. Not today, but in general. I mean, once we've done the, once we've sold this second batch of horses, that will be another 200,000 in horse profit. Well, not profit, it's not pure profit, but uh, you know, horse money. So, we could possibly afford to buy the pellet, pelletizer. Um, especially if I was to sell the potato equipment. If I don't think I'm going to be doing potatoes again, then of course there's no reason to keep all the potato equipment. So it just depends. I mean, I think I think we have, we have three hundred twenty thousand on this farm. If we really wanted to get it. So it's just a case of how much are we prepared to sell or to give away? Because we may have to sell things or like crops or buildings for less than the value, even though we kind of might want them, you know, just so that we can make sure we have enough money to buy this machine. Which seems like it's not the best way to go. Now you'll notice it is picking up a bit better. I think what I have to do is just make sure that I am um, dead straight. So the pickup is picking up right in the middle. I think that might be the trick. I think on the edges of the pickup, it won't do it. We'll see here. No. That was not correct. That's still not helping. Okay, it was worth a try. So, we've just got these two lines to do. I'm making a very, very good amount of pellets from just one field, to be honest. Especially given the value. Um, but we're not going to have time today to do the corn harvest in the other field. That's going to have to be uh, next episode, although I might do another midweek episode. Um, because we've got... Yeah, I don't want to have too long between the episodes, really, so... Not when it's uh, all kind of linked to the same thing. Interesting. The machine cut off on its own. It's very strange. I've never seen a machine do that before. Very, very odd. So you can see it just, there's certain bits it just will not pick up. But see, it picked that bit up that time really weird. Sometimes I know you need to be on the right angle. You know, if you go north-south for example it won't pick it up. If you go east-west it will. Yeah, that, that one it won't pick up any direction. This one picked up that time. Right, well, I'm not going to waste time doing this. Let's just get this bit here done. go and this bit here and we'll get that big bit over in the bottom corner of the field as well if we can and then that will be us done and I will have to go and return this lovely class tractor interestingly with the PTO running 
I still can't actually pull the machine that fast. It's a really, really heavy machine as well. I was slipping around like crazy bringing it back from the shop in the, uh, uh, whatever it's called, Fend. Yeah, the Fend was really struggling. Right, let's get you all turned off. We can unload and then sell directly and we can see how much we've made. As we've made a profit, I'm almost certain we've made a profit, we won't need to get rid of any of our hay bales, which is good, because I do kind of want the hay bales for the horses. I would like to keep them. Okay, so that's unloaded. Just drive away, fold that down. This has got a really nice sounding engine. Hopefully you can hear that. More like a purr. It's lovely. Anyway, enough about the purring tractor. Let's sell these. Eight thousand seven hundred thirty-three. So, because we got the tractor on demo, we have actually made a profit, which is amazing. So, this one tiny field made enough straw pellets to make a profit, and the price is still rising. We could have made even more if I'd have held off. Well, that is very, very good news. So, thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you again soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.